In a seaside village on the southern Oregon coast, the legend of Wicked Willie has been passed down from generation to generation. It's unclear when the story began, but every year around the beginning of summer, parents tell the campfire story to their children to keep them safe from the waters of the abandoned sea. It just so happened that a small group of friends ventured to the seaside village in June of 2015. The Nevada families gathered their children around the campfire and revealed the legend of Wicked Willie. This is their story. Do you kids know the story of Wicked Willie? No! On a foggy, chilly night, one of the fathers sat the group of children around the fire and told the story. What was so eerie about this telling of Wicked Willie was that the story was about to come true. The father told of the small boy named Willie Sanders and how he died in a car crash on the Bandon Bridge. How his body was never recovered and how a year later on the anniversary of the crash, local school children began disappearing. Every year on June 19th, one young boy in first or second grade would go missing. The vanishings always happened on the beach in front of Face Rock. The very same beach the families were staying on. Unbeknownst to the travelers was that the next day the legend would come true. In the early morning hours on Friday, June 19th, the group set off to explore the coastline. As the children were playing, they noticed one of the boys had vanished. The families looked everywhere for the boy. Even the moms came down to the beach to look for him. Owen, Owie, where did you where go? Where is he? I don't know where, where he's going. Oh my God, you guys. He might be in that deep dark cave. No, no, no. I'm super worried Not about him. Scared of the dark. Oh. I love Owen. Owen, where, where is he? Thinking the boy must be playing a prank and hiding from them, the families went to the zoo. Some girls in the group remembered last night's story about Wicked Willie and began to suspect the boy had been taken. I wonder if Wicked Willie is in this cage. Well, let's take a look. God, I wonder where Wicked Willie <coughs> is. Well, let's just take a look. Do you know where Wicked Willie is? Nope, I do not. Have you seen him anywhere? Nope. Do you have a clue where he is? Nope. Maybe we should look at the beach. Okay. Wanting to get the missing boy back, and knowing that stuffed animals at the zoo have magical powers, the children were allowed to I purchase a spirit a animal that gave them <laughs> special powers. I got a raccoon and it gives me invis invisibility. It gives you me fire. I got a, hy I got a hyena and I have super speed. My superpower is um, walking on some I have a monkey, and my superpower is to be really smart. My superpower is I can move stuff with my brain. And I have invisibility. 
And I have a hyena. My superpower in this movie is <laughs> throwing bubble gum and making people all sticky and they can't move. Later that day, the group returned to the beach where the boy had vanished. Wicked Willie had sensed that the children now had special powers, and he freed the boy. The children were so angry at Wicked Willie that they decided to put a stop to his evil plans of ever doing this to anyone ever again. Bye, fish! Let's kill this fish! The family searched all over the coastal town for clues that might reveal the location of Wicked Willie's hiding place. Finally, the kids found the secret cave that Willie lived in, and they used their superpowers to defeat him. By the skin of his teeth, Wicked Willie was able to escape out to sea. But little did he know, the dads were going fishing the next day. That next morning, three of the dads, the other one had a tummy ache, headed out on a mighty fishing vessel and searched and searched for the evil fish. On the last cast of the day, the super handsome, strong, yet kind dad was able to snag the ancient demon of the seas, Wicked Willie. Upon return to the shore, the dads hired a mighty wizard to use his magic knife to slay the beast. And the kids ate Wicked Willie, so he would never wreak havoc on the small coastal village of Bandon, Oregon ever again.